Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. It is evening. Mama is waiting for Papa to come home from his office at the Excello Pictures Corporation, and while she's waiting, she's watching, watching some very interesting activities going on next door. Mama! Becky! Becky, I'm home! Yeah, Jake, I hear you. Am I deep? Say, Mama! Mama, I don't smell anything cooking. Are we going out for supper? I ain't started anything cooking yet, Jake. You ain't started anything? Mom, it's after five o'clock. It's time for supper. You ain't washed yet, Papa. You can't eat when your hands are looking like you were digging coal for a living. <laughs> it won't take me five minutes to wash. Say, Mama, what are you looking at? Mm. What's going on out there? Shh, Papa, quiet. Huh? I'm watching the new neighbors who are moving in. You're watching the new neighbors when I'm starving to death? Five more minutes won't make you a skeleton, Jake. Move over, Becky. Move over. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Look. They got nice furniture, Jake. Yeah. But I can't eat the new neighbors' nice furniture. In a little while, I'll fix supper. I will just have to warm the things. They already cooked. All right, Becky, all right. Oh, what's that thing going in now? There. Oh, that. Yeah. It's a sofa, Papa. Uh-huh. It don't look comfortable. It ain't supposed to be comfortable, Jake. It's a modern piece of furniture. What kind of people would have furniture that you ain't supposed to sit on to be comfortable? Fancy people. Hmm. They got a big radio, too. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it's one of those loud ones that keep people awake at night. Yeah, like the Minovitzes had in New York. Yeah. Until 3 o'clock in the morning one time, they had a party. And the radio was going all the time. Yeah, and knocked yeah. on the ceiling with a broom. And the plaster came down. Oh. <gasps> Look, Jake, there's the lady now. Yeah, yeah, I see her, Mama, but she ain't making me any less hungry. They'll soon have all the furniture in, Papa, and then you can eat. Now, yeah, Mama, why should we be rubbernecks like this? We ain't being rubbernecks, Papa. We are being very friendly. Oh, they are being friendly, hmm? And what is being friendly about peeking at other people's furniture? Papa, furniture is like signposts. Oh, it ain't bad enough. I should come home hungry enough to eat an ox. I should have to listen to that kind it's of talk. It's true, Papa. True, yeah. yeah. you can tell what kind of people people are by looking at the furniture. Sure. You can tell if the lady next door is very nice just by looking at her furniture. Sure, sure. sure the sure. sofa's very nice, Jake. The cushions ain't all pushed down in the middle and the bottoms of the lamps ain't nicked and scratched. So I'm knowing that she takes care from the furniture. All right, Mama, all right. So she's very nice, and I'm still very hungry. Papa, Papa, look. Look, there's the lady again. You know that? What? I met her today. Before they moved in, you meet her. She came in to use the telephone. Ah, borrowing already, huh? She didn't borrow it, Jake. She just came in to use it. All right, who did she call? I couldn't hear. She talked very soft. Oh. And she married? She had on a wedding ring. Hey, Mama. You remember the people who moved in next door to us in New York? The people that moved in? There was people on both sides of us, Jake. No, 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 no. I mean the ones that lived next to the Cabacos. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ones with the eight children. Seven. Eight. I know, because she did her washing on the same day I did. So what about them, Jake? Well, her husband was the one that was sent to jail. Ah, yeah, yeah. For leg bootlegging. No, 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 no. Bootlegging, bootlegging. Yeah, bootlegging. You know, Jake, I'll never forget the day the parole wagon pulled up in front of the house. They stopped in front of our house, boys. Mm-hmm. And all the policemen came You know out. what? I thought something happened to you, Papa. And why should the police be coming after me? Why should the police be coming after anybody? I asked why should the police be coming after me, Mama. They shouldn't. If you ain't done nothing wrong, they shouldn't be. That's right, Mama. That's right. They came after your cousin, Mo, Van. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> the police didn't think so. Well, it was a mistake. Mo just looked like the man they was after. That's what Mo said. But it was true. 
My cousin Moore never did anything that the police should be after him for. Yeah. Once they arrested him for objecting traffic with a machine he invented. You remember? The one that was supposed to move sideways in a parking well, place? Well, well, that was a good idea. It wasn't Moe's fault that the wheels got stuck. Something was always getting stuck with Moe's inventions. And you was getting stuck for the money. Mama, please, let my relatives alone and please get me something to eat. I've been home a long time now and I ain't getting anything to eat. Jake. Huh? Jake, look. Huh? Look, they got a piano. All right, so they got a piano and I got a hole in my stomach. You know, the lady's a very nice lady, Papa. Mm. Maybe we should invite him over some night. Maybe to play bridge, huh? All right, all right. So we will have them over some night to play bridge. Uh, and how do you know they play? Because there goes a card table in the house. <laughs> if they don't play cards, why should they have a card table? I don't know. Maybe there are other games you could play on a card table. Any other games you can play on the kitchen table. But bridge, you got to play on a card table because it's a fancy game. <laughs> and I wish I had something fancy to eat. Mm, if you had something fancy to eat, you'd be getting upset with indigestion. Plain food's all you're getting, Plain Papa. Plain food is what I am not getting. Back here, please, when do we eat? Please, Papa, just a little bit more furniture that I got to take in the house, and then we'll eat. Uh, why, why do we have to wait for the neighbors to move in before we are eating is something I don't understand. Papa, Papa, I, uh, uh, go read a book. Read a book, she says, read a book. Why? To murder time. Kill time, Mama, kill time. You murder people, not time, and you it ain't a bad idea. You shouldn't murder anything. All right, all right, so I'll go and read a book until it's time for supper. It'll only be a little while, Papa. I want to stay here until they're finished. I know, Mama, I know. You know. <laughs> Jake. Yeah. Jake, they got another sofa. Maybe they got a big family. Maybe they have relations who stay with them, huh? Yeah, yeah, maybe they have. Yeah, maybe they... Maybe they have. Jake. Hmm? I thought you was going to read a book. I couldn't read the book I picked up. Why not? Are you forgetting how to read? It was a cookbook. Oh. <gasps> look, Papa, look. Huh? There comes her husband. And how do you know it's her husband? He kissed her. Strange men are not just walking up and kissing people. Uh-huh. This is Hollywood. Anything can happen. I wonder what his business is. Well, when we invite him over, you can ask him. Maybe he's in the movie business too, Papa. <laughs> if he is, I feel sorry for him. Especially if he's got two sons-in-law to help him. <laughs> Look, Jake. <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> there must be something funny, yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. If he was me, he wouldn't be laughing. He'd be laying on the sidewalk. Dad. From hunger. Papa, yeah. I said before, you're going to get supper just as soon as this load of furniture goes in. And then they'll be all finished. Now, please, just sit down and relax. Oh, I can't sit down and relax and my stomach won't let me. Listen, Mama, please, I will settle for a sandwich. Just one little sandwich. You're going to get soup. Then? Sometime soon. Sometime soon. Sometime soon, she said. Mama, then is sometime soon. You know, Jake... You are being very aggravating. Hmm. I'm telling you that all I'm having to do is warm up the food. It's on the stove. Oh, it's on the stove, huh? It's on the stove. All right, then I'll go and light the stove. You are not going to light the stove, Papa. The last time you did, we are having to go to our restaurant. All right, but I will settle for one sandwich. One sandwich and one more look at the neighbor's furniture. Oi, Papa. Huh? Look, the man drinks. He drinks? He's standing on the sidewalk drinking out of a bottle? No, but look, Jake, all the bottles going in. All the... Oh, Mama, because there are bottles going in, you're saying the man drinks. Well, maybe she drinks. Well, maybe mm -hmm. she drinks. Fine neighbors they're going to have. They'll stay up all night making noise at wild parties. You know that. What, Mama, what? I'll complain. No, oh, you complain. Mama, please. They're not even moved in the house yet. And already you're complaining because they're making too much noise. So, maybe you're a fortune teller, huh? Oh, fortune teller. that's terrible. Such nice furniture to be ruined at wild parties. Who's ruining what furniture at what... Mama, I thought you told me not so very long ago, just a minute ago, I thought you said she was a very nice lady. Jake, one swallow doesn't make a dinner. What? I just saw her for a little minute when she came in to use the telephone. Maybe she's like the man we knew in New York who was living under a unanimous name. Oi, oi. Criminals we got for neighbors. Oi, oh, Mama, you should be with Sidney and Harold to write stories. A few bottles go into the house and right away in your mind we got criminals for neighbors. All right, all right, Mom. So I'll buy extra locks and bolts for all the doors and the windows. And before I do it, before I do it, Mama, please, I want something to eat. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. They're done, Papa. They're done, they're yeah, done. Yeah, everything's moved in. Well, that's good, Mama, that's good. Now, will you please come away from that window and warm up my supper? Yeah, all right, Papa, all right. I, honest, a poison would be thinking that you're like the animals at the zoo, that you're fed only once a day. Mm -hmm. You know what a big breakfast you eat. Right, and I bet breakfast. you had a big lunch. Mm -hmm. And when you come home at night, you're just as hungry as a pot handler. A pan handler. Pan but you're right, I'm just as hungry right. as a... Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> there, that feels better. Well, Becky, I'm going to put on my slippers. Papa, don't do that. We are going to have company. Company? 
company. Mommy, you didn't tell me who's coming. I'm going to invite the new neighbors over after supper. We should be getting acquainted. What? If we don't know nobody, we should be living out in the desert with Indians. Now, Mama, sometimes I don't understand you. Why? One little minute ago, you are standing there saying we've got criminals for neighbors. And now said... you're going to invite them over here after supper? No, all right. I'm changing my mind. You're changing your mind. Like I said, one little swallow don't make a dinner. Maybe a few bottles is all right. All right, all right. Now, Miss Selby, we'll have them over after supper and get acquainted with them. But why must you do it so soon? Because the sooner we get acquainted with them, the sooner we'll know them. Well, well, unless you're saying something that makes sense. Certainly it makes sense. Certainly it makes sense, you said. <laughs> Say, yeah. get washed. Sop will be ready in a minute. Yeah, all right, Mama. What are we going to have, Mama? Beet bush. Beet bush. Oh, that's good, Mama. That's good. <laughs> I had a hard day today, and I'll need plenty of food. <laughs> All days is alike for you, Papa. Hmm? When you have an easy day, then you worry because you're thinking that business is bad. And you need a lot of food for strength. That's right. Yeah, and when you have a hard day, you are beat from a lot of work. <laughs> <sighs> Everything will be ready in a minute. Uh, Mama, before we're eating, I, I want you to tell me something. Tell you something? Yeah. What, Jake? I want you to tell me why you're inviting the new neighbors over tonight. Because I'm very social, Jake. Uh, you got some other reason, Mama, I know it. Do I got to have more than one reason if I'm wanting to be friendly? Oh, Mama, you always got more than one reason for anything, Mama. All right, so I'll tell you. They're new neighbors, Jake. And I'm thinking that maybe they'll want a little rest after moving cold day. Maybe they're strangers. Strangers? To each other, you mean? Oh, Jake, a man and his wife ain't strangers. They're just like one of the family. What I'm meaning is this. It's just like the time we moved in New York. We didn't know anybody at all. And we was very glad when the Minovitzes invited us over for the evening so we could be getting acquainted. So I'm feeling the same way now. And Jake... Yeah. You know something? Nothing at all except I'm getting hungry while you're talking. I will just say this, and then everything will be ready for you to All right, Mama, all right, quick, say I'm it. feeling just a little bit sorry for the new lady next door. You're feeling sorry for her, Mama? Why? Ain't she got nice furniture? Didn't her husband kiss her when he got home? Didn't they laugh about something? All right. So they ain't got anything to be unhappy about, so why should you feel sorry? It ain't only that, Papa, but since she came over to use the telephone, I'm thinking that she'll not be able to make many friends. <laughs> Mama, you're a genius. All right, for the last time, I'm going to ask you, why won't she make friends? Why? Because, Papa. Because she talks with a hexent. Mm -hmm.